So thank you for joining me today. Sure. So Stu, could you tell me a little bit about um, SDN and whether Verizon is now seeing this as um, just a better network management tool or is this a fundamental shift in network architecture? Well, this is a fundamental shift in network architecture. Um, it's really all about changing the cost structure of Verizon's networks. It's moving us away from equipment that's not reducing in cost at the same rate of demand on our bandwidth. If we move networking into software and that software runs on commodity hardware and data centers, we can push the cost structure to follow that of PCs and the consumer market, which puts us in a much better position to handle the ever-growing demand of bandwidth. Is Verizon using software-defined networking in its network now, and if so, how? Yes, we are. We've begun to use it in our content media and content media distribution networks. Uh, these networks are providing video content to our consumers on the wireless network today, and they are using software-defined networking principles to use software to make policy routing decisions and steer traffic as needed to optimize the quality of the video for the individual consumer. Uh, this is the only effective way to do it. We can't really do it at the IP layer through a traditional IP network. Do for supporting IMS as well? Yes, I mean, this is all part of the IMS core, which is how traffic moves and, and is managed with quality of service in, in the backbone of the LTE network. Uh, but in this case, we need to apply certain policies depending on the state of the network as well as the uh, subscriptions that the customer has. So it's looking at policy information, it's looking at subscriber information, and steering the traffic to the appropriate devices uh, based on that information. Now Verizon's also uh, introducing the Innovation Center that's looking at SDN. Could you tell me a little bit more about that, please? Yes, we realize that there's a lot of gaps in the technology to move from certain individual cases of SDN, like content management, to a broader use. And we didn't feel that Verizon alone could solve this. So we took an approach very similar to what we did with LTE in the early days, which was form innovation centers where ecosystem partners could come in as leaders in their particular areas and work with us to design the entire capability and close the technology gaps. So we're taking the same approach today with cloud computing, cloud networking, and software-defined networks. Our initial partners are Intel and HP, so the three companies, Verizon, Intel, and HP, have a virtual innovation center between our labs, and we're inviting in ecosystem partners that have best-of-breed solutions for the individual pieces they're attacking uh, and trying to solve. And, and working with these partners, we expect to uncover some gaps maybe we haven't seen, close those gaps. In some cases, we'll be taking that information back into standards like the ONF, which is the Open Networking Foundation, uh, to have a standard created around solving that problem. Great. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you.